guys, we're back today with three quick questions. It's WrestleMania. We got Rico De La Vega on the show. Rico, first question, man. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Rico De La Vega, live and direct from Cancun, Mexico. You know I had to do it up big. So to answer that first question, my favorite wrestler of all time. Now, this is a very, very broad stroke right here because obviously, you know, the... Uh, the wrestler that got me into wrestling is initially the ultimate warrior you know it's uh it's just one of those things i saw him and that's when i decided hey man this is pretty cool i want to go ahead and do it but if i had to pick one wrestler favorite wrestler of all time i would have to pick the undertaker simply because that's the one that i've truly followed and been able to kind of watch evolve throughout you know my childhood into my adulthood you know that longevity is something that stays with me and it's something that i definitely want to leave uh, as far as an impact in the wrestling world. So I'd have to say The Undertaker. Yo, great answer, man. And how long have you been wrestling for, for people that don't know? That's actually a really good question. Uh, this August, towards the end of August, early September, that's when I uh, finally hit 10 years doing this. 10 years ago would be when I started this journey at the world famous Monster Factory. And uh, 10 years later, here I am. Cool, man. And hey, do you have a dream match in 2024? Let the people know. Who do you want to wrestle against? Man, that's a question that I would definitely usually give a lot of thought to. But if it's got to be somebody in 2024 <clears throat> that I want to have a dream match against, uh, I would definitely have to say Damian Priest. Uh, he's the one who trained me, or at least one of the people that trained me. And I've always thought that if you're able to hang with the person that taught you everything that you know, then you've definitely earned their respect and it speaks volumes not only on your character but on what that person coached you in, what they taught you. So I think it would be a true testament to what I've been able to do with myself so far in this almost 10 year career.